Hello, welcome back again. I'm going to explain another depreciation method, which is sum of years digit depreciations. The SOYD is a little bit different with the SLD. SLD has a constant number of depreciation value, but the SOYD has different number every year. And then we have to estimate the denominator because the denominator itself depend of depend on the recovery period which is a useful life okay to make it clear now i'm going to implement in a cases okay a travel agent has purchased the minibus worth to 150 million the useful life of the minibus is five years and it can be sold 30 million at the end of its life. Okay, now we can investigate the informations. We want to know the depreciation every year by purchasing the minibus. Okay, the investment is 150 million, and then we know that the salvage value is 30 million and it will last until five years. Now calculate the depreciation using the SOYD. To calculate the SOYD, you have to estimate the value of a digit. Okay, the sigma digit can be obtained by using this formula, which is the big M represent the useful life, and then divided by two, and times to the big N plus one. So this is the formula. In this case, the the mini bus, okay, the mini bus will last until five years. So we can put it the big N as a 5. Okay, just 5 divided by 2 and times to 5 at 1. And then it's, it results 15. So the sigma digit will be put as denominators. Since the SOYD using a, a unique fractions, okay, unique fractions. So you have to estimate the sigma digit first before we continue to estimate the total depreci depreciation every year. Now, let's take a look. This is the formula of SOYD. Actually, we only change the little t in here. The big N represents the useful life. The big I represents the initial investment and the big S represents the salvage value. If an asset has no result value, you can put it zero. And then the sigma digit is already known, which is 15. Okay, so actually you only change the little t with a certain times. For example, in the first year, put the little t with 1. So just calculate the bracket first, and after that, the big N will be subtracted by by the calculations of the bracket and then multiply by the sigma digit and after that you can times the subtraction between the initial investment with the salvage value using very simple algebra and it turns out 30 so the depreciation of the first year is a 40 so continue until year 5 don't forget in this case, you only change the little t into certain times. For example, if you want to know in year 3, you just change the little t with 3. Okay, and the rest, it has the, the same number, the same, the same value. Okay, and then we got that the depreciation in year 5 is 8. Okay, just take a look. We have a pattern in here that the depreciation value in the beginning of time is higher than slight prime depreciations, but slowly decrease until it meets the useful life. Now, let's continue to put in complete information of depreciation method. Okay, just apply it to the table. In the beginning of time, an asset has no depreciable, okay, has no depreciable amount. Just put 150, 
and the stigma depreciation is zero. And after all, we use it to run a business. It means the 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 minibus has lessened the value. Okay, so we can put forty. Forty can be obtained in my previous previous slide, which is forty. Forty forty is obtained by finding the calculation using the SOYD formula. You just change the little t at a certain time. Okay, now put in here SOYD depreciation value and find the book value by finding by subtracting the book value which is initial investment in the beginning of time by the depreciations. Okay, 150 minus 40 and then we got 110. Continue until it meets the useful life. Okay, so the sigma depreciations can be put in the left in the right side. Okay, so the book value equals to self page value. Then the the iteration may stop. So according to the case, that the self page value is 30. Right, so we can stop the iteration to this stage okay this is 30 okay book value equals to selfish value